welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, hi, I'm Kim, thanks for joining in. If you like what you see here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Me and my subscribers, we have a great time here, we have a party, so if you want to join in, feel free to press that button. But today I have a fashion video for you. It's kind of a bit of a mix of favourites, haul, what I'm loving, not loving, what I've taken back, just a bit of a wardrobe catch up. So this is part one, a fashion-y kind of video. Part two is kind of like my favourites of the month from other bits and bobs around the house. Cushions, there's cushions there, you wanna stay tuned for cushions. So that's another video which will follow this one. But let's crack on with the fashion finds. So guys, guys, you know me, I do love my Primark, I do. I had a few take backs, things that you know, I wasn't loving for my last haul. You could probably guess what they were. The black polka dot skirt had to go back. That pink wrap around dress had to go back. If you didn't see that, I'll link that down below. You can go and have a little watch, see what I bought and see, you know, see the items that went back. So while I was walking through Primark, like that, I had to go straight upstairs to the take back counter. And I was like, I'm not gonna look, but yeah, I looked, the blinkers fell off. I wandered off and I found a few new bits, so. I picked up a couple more pink things. Now I'm trying to find a few more pink items at the moment, like a soft pink, like these ones here, to go with my other bits that I bought from Vista Village. Again, if you didn't see that video, I'll link that down below. A lot of linking down below going on here, but if you didn't see it, it's worth having a look because I bought a few new things that are rather delightful, like this. So I'm buying things to go with my new shoes. Yes, baby pink shoes. So yeah, I'm kind of feeling that sort of vibe at the moment wearing it with denim let's show you these items so the first one is this dress now i took back the other dress which was also a button down dress and a wrap round but i thought the style of this is kind of a bit more me i like the sleeve length i like the tie on the sleeve it cinches in at the waist with a thin tie but it was the length i think the length will be a better length for me because it's a bit shorter the other one was kind of like a midi length so I think this would fit better. I haven't tried it on, so I'm gonna do that now and see how it fits. But I also really like the buttons on this because it's like a fabric button, so it just kind of looks really pretty and nice along with the bows as well. This one was 13 pounds, so I'll try that on in a moment, but I'll show you the top first. So the next item is this pink wraparound shirt. I say pink, it's kind of like a dusky rosy beige kind of colour. It's not quite pink, but tonally it will work. I really like the leaf pattern on here. I like the nice kind of loose sleeves. It is a wrap around. I'm not sure how this wrap's gonna fit. It might not be so forgiving on the hips. We'll see, we'll see how it sits. But as I said, I really like the colour. So I'll give that one a go. That was 10 pounds. So next up, I nipped into next. I did. This was totally just i'm gonna buy it and go try it on at home kind of item okay i'm loving polka dot at the moment what i'm loving even more is polka hearts yes not dots they're hearts i just thought that's really cute there's a red dress here and it has a white heart print on it that is what lured me in was the print not really the cut it was more about the color and the red heart so this one has a slightly longer sleeve like a three quarter not three quarter a kind of elbowy length sleeve with a frill on the bottom. It has buttons halfway down and then it has like a little cinchy in bit there. Short dress, but not too short. It's a next short dress, if you know what I mean. So I haven't tried this one on either. As I said, I grabbed it on in store to bring home and try. So who knows what it will look like, but I'm liking it. The only thing I'm not sure about is the red is more like an orange toned red. So we'll see how that goes, we'll see. This one was 26 pounds. Next up in the same print, but with navy, is this jumpsuit. I have a horrible feeling this is gonna be horrifically horribly too long for me because the crotch is practically dragging on the floor as it is. I don't know if they do this in petite. I have five foot three for your information. But oh, it's just worth a go, it can always go back. That's the thing, isn't it? Have your receipt, it can go back. So what drew me in was obviously the heart print. I do really like that. But I also like the wide sleeves. And then at the back, it has a tie at the top, a big open bit here, like that, and then the trousers. It's all one piece. But yeah, there's the elasticated bit there. 
So yes, I do really like the open back there. The tie here, so you can still wear a bra, but then it's open here, so it's like, yes. I've got a bit of skin showing, but not too much I don't have to wear a bra. It's nothing worse than, oh, that's a really pretty top. Oh, I like the bag, but I can't wear a bra of it. So, you know, you know. This one was 46 pounds, so a bit more pricey. So if it doesn't fit, it's definitely going back. It was going back anyway if it doesn't fit, but I'm just saying 46 pounds, but it is next. So yes, let's give that one a go. But I just have to say, so there's the waist and then the crotch. I can't even hold it up high enough to show you where the crotch is. There. So you've either got to have a really long bum or long legs or long something. And I'm not long, I'm more wide than long. But we'll see, I'll give it a go. Next up, I have my couple of H&M items that I bought in my H&M Come Shop With Me. Again, if you want to see that video, I'll link it down below for you to go and have a little look. But I still have the labels on these because I'm just not sure. And if you're not sure, never de-label until you're 100%. So the first one is this blue and white striped dress. It had, since she's in at the waist, let me pop this down. So it doesn't look particularly flattering like this, but when it's cinched in like that, it's really nice. So everyone, well, not everyone, a lot of people on that video are like, that dress is lovely, you must keep it. You bad influence, you like, you are a bad influence because I just don't know. So it's probably gonna go back. I'm gonna try it on again now. Have a little play around see what i think but you know it's navy and white it's a classic color i like the v-neck it stitches in nice it's a good length so we'll see this one was 17.99 and then the other one is this red top i do really like the fit of this and I, actually i do think i'm going to keep this but i just keep thinking about the other colors there's like the stripy one yeah, like a blueprint one I was thinking, do I want red or the other colour? So that's why it's still labelled. This is $12.99. And the fit that I like that I'm talking about, it kind of has like a ruching down here. I keep hitting that sodding lamp. It's like a ruching down here, it has a tie on the sleeve. Now, what I actually noticed looking back at my video is the other colour, or one of the other colours, didn't have a tie on the sleeve. So I think I might prefer that because these bits were flapping on my arm when I tried it on. Like, flap flap it's like oh there's a spider on me oh no it's not it's a fly no oh, it's fine it's my tassel so i hate that i hate that feeling of what is it and this top gives me that feeling but apart from that it's lovely may well keep it may well swap with the other one don't know yet let's try it on so for my bista village finds i'm keeping all of those but for my primark as i said before the black polka dot skirt has gone back and the long pink dress has gone back. I've decided to keep both of these summer bags because, well, you need a black and you need a neutral. Job done, job done. I just really like both of these. In the shops, they're starting to filter through all these summer bags. And I just think for the price, they're just so good. I don't need any other option now. I may want another option, but I don't need another option. So I've decided to keep this one and the round with the popper at the top as well. Yes, I really do like both of these. Another item I decided to keep was this blue dress here. It is a little bit on the mumsy side, sorry. I don't know why I'm doing that because it's mine and I'm wearing it. But yeah, it is a little bit, but I still really like it. It's a full length dress, but it's a good length for me. Buttons all the way down. It's a really pretty daisy print. Like in the blue, like kind of like a nice fresh summer colour with the daisies. So that but the label's off and I've worn it, so that's definitely a keeper. So this is where the naughtiness comes in. When I went to take back some other items from Primark, you know, I said that I accidentally wandered in and bought a few bits of clothes, while well, I accidentally bought two pairs of the same shoe in different colours as well. Two sandals. Right, let's talk about it. Let's discuss. So, so it ties around the ankle, which, if you get hot, could be a problem. I'm thinking about that already. You know when your ankles swell and you have a strap around your ankle and it's all like, it looks like a piece of meat. You know, that lovely bit of roast beef. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm thinking about this, but it does look pretty with the straps going up around the ankle. I'll try it on in a moment so you can see. But then it's kind of like quite dainty and nice. And I like the heel shape as well. It kind of goes a bit angular. So there's the black pair. 
and then the nude. So I was like, do I need black or do I need nude? I don't know. So I'm gonna decide that now. These are 14 pounds. Yeah, 14 pounds. Now, there was only a few left, so I thought, oh my God, they're going quick. I don't know which one to get, so get both. It was that moment of panic of, I'm gonna miss out here, so I'm just gonna buy all colors for the moment. I don't know which one to keep or if I'm keeping either. Let's try them on. This top here, I haven't actually worn this on camera, I don't think, so I'll tell you about it because I really, really like it. It is from Oasis. The sleeves you can see here are like a longer sleeve, but they're sheer. So it's kind of a really good spring top because you don't really want to have your arms out or if you don't like having your arms out, it still covers your arm, but it's not too much fabric. So that I think is really pretty. And then the top here, what do they call it? It's like a pork pie neck. <laughs> oh, selling it to you. You want support pie neck? Come get your pork pie necks. A pie neck? I don't know. It just looks like a pie, doesn't it? I don't know. But I'm calling it a pork pie neck. That's the it's the latest thing now. But I do really like this neck, and you can layer it underneath things. Probably not. Well, I was going to say probably not now because it's spring, but it's horrendously raining right now. We've had our nice weather and it's back to winter probably. So it would be a good one for having this popping at the top, you know, show off your pie at the top, wee, like that. But yes, it goes down to there, there, a good length basically. And yeah, I just really like it. Now this one was quite pricey for what it is. I think it was like 36 pounds. Ooh, ooh, for this kind of top, but do you know what? I like it. So yeah, I think it's worth it. Really like these sleeves. And then my earrings are a bargain from Next Clearance for about a pound or something. And I thought with a high pork pie neck, you can wear big old bleggin earrings. So I'm not gonna show you my Bista Village bits because that would just make a very long video. Again, go and watch that video if you wanna see the bits that I got from my sister. Other than that, let's try some stuff on. So here is the first top. Now, to look at, I think it looks quite nice but it doesn't feel nice. It feels like it's gonna fall off like my shoulders. It feels like I'm gonna open. It just doesn't, you know when you wear a top and you're a bit like, you just feel a bit awkward. I think it might be one of them. You know, it doesn't fit quite right, but there's something really nice about it. I really like the color. I really like the sleeves. I like the idea, but I think, like I said, I'm gonna wear it and be like, Ugh! I'm gonna be like, mum, is it is it slipping? Or Ian, is it that? Oh, I'll never get really fed up with it. You know, that your top's fine. Don't wear a sodden top kind of thing. It's definitely not a chuck on top. It's more of a, I have to make an effort in my mind to wear this kind of top, top, you know? Not easy, but it looks nice. <laughs> la la la. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think it might irritate me. Yeah, dilemma. Dilemma. Come on, let me go and get my bag and I'll, I'll let's do the vision. The vision, that was that. <sighs> okay, yeah, nice. But then I ran downstairs to get this bag and I was flopping out all over the place. It's just like, right, this is it. This is how it should look, you know, in your mind. Reality, when you just stood there like this and it's all like flopping and you know, you know, Instagram. Reality, sorry. <laughs> That was really bad, sorry about that. Verdict is it's nice, but just too, for me, too that. Right, so I have to show you this in my mirror. I've got lights, guys, look. I actually got a light. I'm getting well professional. Yes, I am, that's why you should subscribe. I have lights. Anyway, I can't believe I just ran somewhere randomly. Anyway, so this pink dress, I think I like it. I'm not sure about the color on me though. I think it kind of like, blends in a bit too much to my skin tone. You know what I mean? I'm not sure. I think I prefer this to the other one I tried on that I took back because I just feel like it's a bit younger. I think the other one might have been a bit too, I don't know, just not quite right, but I really like the sleeves. It's actually a little bit tight on the back. I could like rip through that, but everything else fits quite nice. This is a size eight. I'm an 810 in Primark, it's kind of like you just don't know until you try it on kind of size. But I think I like it, I don't think I love it though, so this probably will be going back. But what I had in mind, right, see, look at that, pink on pink on pink, it changes it, changes the game, doesn't it? Apart from my legs, that are horrifically, I don't know, just don't look. But yeah, I'm kind of liking that now, although flats with this dress, 
doesn't really work, not these kind of flats. But let's just get the idea of pink on pink and pink and pink. Mm. Yes, slight change of mind. That little tie in the pink. Oh, what do you think? Let me know. What do you think? Shoes are on. Can't show you too close because my legs aren't in uh, summer nick, let's just say. Oh. Right, let's get you out of the way, sheepy. There we go. So, <gasps> I'm loving these. These are well nice. <laughs> They are delightful, aren't they? So, we have the black, like so, and we have the nude, like so. Can you see the dilemma? And, you know, I've kept my pink dress on. Imagine, like, a nice floaty pink dress and then those nude shoes. Nice. And the black. Mmm. I'm really, really liking these. What do you think? Let me know. What colour do you prefer? And do you like the tie up around the ankle as well? Or are you like me and you're a bit like, mm, in the summer heat, is it going to be like a sausage? But at least you can loosen it, you know? And a good thing with this fabric, because it's like a fake kind of leather fabric on the strap, it will actually stay up. Whereas if it's like a ribbony type one, I find they just kind of slouch down. Whereas this, I think it might actually stay. Right, really liking these. <sighs> even more of a dilemma as to which colour now you guys are going to have to vote for me it's as simple as that which colour? or both you know what to do you know the answer oh now this is cute very cute so it pulls in around the waist so I've pulled it in quite tight and then you have like a sagging bit there don't you I think or I can cinch it in with about I don't know I'm going to have to play around with this bit but I can find a way to make it work I love the sleeve length I love it because I'm not a fan of having the old arms out so that is a good hiding spot place for my arms in there good length a tiny bit sacky the way it's hanging but I reckon I can live with it I think if I faffed about with it and cinched it in in the right way it could work I think it could and then I've got new shoes on <gasps> I hope that you can't see the state of my legs because I haven't shaved so let's have a look from afar there we go Imagine I've got lovely tanned summer legs and then the black shoes, ooh, or the cream. Ooh, this is a size eight. So I could size down, but that just seems like it'll be too small. I don't know. So I, I have a play around with it, but the concept I am liking. I am liking it. Oh no, someone bought their rubber ring with them, la la la. Oh, such a shame, such a shame. The length is great, the top fits nice, but what, what's going on here, mate? What's going on here? It just doesn't fit here. I can't size up because then it will be big here. What size is it, actually? Yeah, size 8. See, I'd normally pick a size 10, but it would just be way too big up here. And then it would be massive on the leg. Oh. <laughs> You know when you look at something like have a vision of you being like looking amazing in it that yeah I had to try it though you know you never know it could have been perfect it could have been the one but see see this just shows if you pick the wrong clothing for your shape I mean it just doesn't no it's just really weird it's like it's tight here and there and then it goes really loose really loose then loose on the strap as well and then why am I bothering? Why are we talking why are we even talking about it? Alright, give it up. Give it up. The minute she walked in the dry door. They could see the jumpsuits don't fit her. Take it off and take it back now. It means I've got 40 or quid to spend now. Yay. See if it was from the side like this with those shoes you'd be like, oh that's really nice. That is dun dun dun. Instagram pose. <gasps> like that. Or to the side. Sucking it in. Oh, that's lovely outfit, that. Dum dum. Right, I know I should give it up, but I've just put it on with a crop t shirt just to see. So, you know, if these were just trousers, look at the length of them with those shoes, and then you can't see that bit. See? I can't keep it just for that, but you know, yeah. <sighs> that's a good thing. If you did buy this and it did fit you, you could put something over the top like this, then you've got two outfits then. Yeah. I'm tempted to just cut the top bit off and have the trousers. <sighs> right, definitely giving it up now. Right, so the blue and white striped dress from H&M. Now, now that I've just tried on that jumpsuit and it horrifically didn't fit me, anything was going to look good after that. So yeah, 
here we go. I do actually really like it, yes, I do, I do. I think this is a keeper, Whee! you'll be pleased to know. And then I've still got these shoes on, so I think they look quite nice with it as well. Maybe not the black, I'm liking the nude. So again, imagine them all tanned and glossy and like, oh, summer. Then I could put it with, I don't know, something like this. What do you think? Here we go. Yeah, yes, yes, I do like it. I think this one is a keeper. Then we have the red top. I've put it with a denim skirt, left those shoes on. So yes, yeah, I'm still not sure. I think I'm gonna take this back and get a different one because I'm not liking the tie up bit on this sleeve. It is like, it's on me, get it off, type of feeling. But it is a nice red. It sits quite nicely, but I think I might swap it for a different color. What do you think? Don't know why I did that both, but I did. Right, coming to the end of the video, but before I go, I forgot to mention this one that I kept in my last Primark haul, this dress. I love the length, the color, the that was, I was going to say frills then, but it came out like further. Yeah, so I've decided to keep that one, but I thought, oh, should we try it with the shoes? I'm liking it with the shoes. Oh, desperately need to get my fake tan on. That's the next job. Don't worry, it's the next job. So yes, this one is definitely a keeper as well. Just thought I'd show you. So yeah, loving that actually, really liking this. In fact, I like this even more than I like a lot of the other things I've tried on today. I should have just saved myself for this. So that is it for today's video. I'm all hot and bothered now from trying all that stuff on. I know, I need to get my workout gear back on and get fit if that's gonna tire me out. But I, yeah, it's a good workout to have, trying on clothes. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. And if you enjoyed yourself, why not hit that subscribe button? That'd be great. Just hit the button, hit the bell. Why not? And share it with your friends, do all of that. And my next video will be my favourites from around the house. That sounds random, doesn't it? Running around that one, that one, that one is pretty much what I'm going to do. But it will follow this video. It'll be uploaded maybe, I don't know when. I was going to upload it straight away afterwards, but I don't actually have time to film it right now. So who knows when I'll film it? Yes, so it'll be a surprise for you, a nice little surprise. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.